Hello there and welcome back to the channel. It is great to have you all back again and if you're new here, welcome. It would be, it's great to see you and I hope you're gonna find something useful here. So today, I just wanna, I'm doing this the wrong way around. This is an intro for a video that I did a few days ago. Um, it's an intro for um, a video for product photography. So all I wanted to do was see if I could take a decent picture of a product, it could be anything, it could be a, a plant, it could be some jewellery, it could be um, a vase. In my instance, I chose a bottle of whiskey and I did, didn't buy anything. I use stuff that I have in the house. Uh, I have quite a bit of stuff being a photographer, um, but I don't do product photography. Anyway, check out the video. Um, it's going to hopefully provide some value and if it does, leave me a comment and don't forget to hit the like button if you like it and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already so we'll jump into the video, video now that I did a couple of days ago thank you for being here and there is the final product the final shots I put near the end of the video and there's like a little um, sort of commercial type trailer video I did as well so stick around to the end of the video and you'll see both of those so have fun enjoy and I'll see you soon Hello, welcome to my humble office. Um, I have decided five minutes ago, or maybe 10 minutes ago, to try and do another genre of photography. I'm gonna have a go at making a real cool product photography. Um, I'm only gonna use stuff that's around the house, so I'm not gonna go out and buy any special lights or backdrops or props or anything like that. Um, what I'm gonna be shooting is a whiskey bottle. There isn't even any whiskey in it. So I've got to try and find something that looks like whiskey. Uh, and I'm just gonna use everything I've got. Now, of course, I am a photographer, so I have a lot of equipment already. Um, but I don't do product photography. So I haven't got the, the backdrops or the lights or anything like that. I have these big old lights that we use here. I have, obviously, I have cameras and we have a nice bottle of whiskey, although empty, of course, that we're gonna try and that we're gonna try and shoot. So let's see how we get on. Follow me on this journey and we may both learn something, so let's do it. Okay, let me straighten the video up to start with. Looks about right. Okay, so a couple of quick points on what I'm doing here. So I've got this old acrylic picture block, which has got really nice black um, black background and glass on top. So I'm hoping that that is gonna become a really cool base for the, um, for the whiskey bottle to sit on. So we're gonna give that a clean. Um, and get all these fingerprints off it. Um, and that's the first thing. And we are then gonna stand it on. I have this, my office chair, and I've put round the back of it an old, an old jumper, which has been clipped at the back here. I don't know if you can see this, this clip here, which means at the front of it, is nice and tight and this old shelf or this old whatever you call that stand metal stand that um, I'm gonna put the acrylic block that I've just shown you on top of here stand the whiskey bottle on top of it and then see what we can get try and do some sort of lighting on the background uh, and take a nice photo this way and see see what it looks like. Now, I haven't got a table. Well, I have got a table. I haven't got a table really that is suitable for this. Uh, so we're just gonna go with this and see what it turns out with. If I can't get the proper cropping in around the outside because it's not wide enough and these handles get in the way or you can see the background or something, then we'll have to try something else, but I'm gonna try and do it using this. So 
the next thing I've got to do is try and find something to go into the empty bottle of whiskey, which is here. Um, it's less than a litre, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, I'm thinking I might just make up some tea or something. Just pour some tea in um, and see see how that turns out. So let's let's carry on. I have come into the kitchen in an attempt to get some whiskey-like uh, liquid, and I've made up a jug of tea, which I am gonna pour into the um, into the bottle now, and I'm hoping that it's gonna look like whiskey. It won't taste like whiskey, but. So I've got here, camera set up to, to video the pouring, try to make it half decent if we can turn this back on. So that's the, that's the view we're going to get, pouring the bottle of whiskey in. Uh, really not quite sure what I'm doing, but it's good fun. Okay, so this is a, this is proper whiskey, which dark over in this corner, but, so that is actual whiskey, and this is the tea. Now, I know it looks a bit gloomy in here, but it's in a plastic jug, so we are now gonna pop this down as I attempt to pour cold tea into an empty bottle of whiskey. Right, that camera can't go there because it is in the shot. So I wonder if I can it to this that could be better and then that definitely won't be in the shot right <laughs> I don't know okay so this we've got to press record on here now which is Let's just make sure we are we are composed. We are making sure we are focused on the bottle. And we're recording. Okay, so that's... <laughs> right, it looks... The finished bottle, it, it looks a bit murky. It looks a bit... It looks a bit murky in comparison to... In comparison to this one, I accept that. But... Still... Until Johnny Walker throws some money my way to do a proper one, it's just for me, you know, it's just a bit of fun. Um, don't know what that video was like, because I did spill some. Uh, but that's not what I'm doing now. I'm doing it to get a nice product photo and sharing it along with you guys. So let's go back in the other room now and see if we can get that lined up for a photograph. Hi, welcome back to the office. Okay. So we're done, uh, we've taken some photos, we've taken some video which I'm going to show you right at the very end. You can see the results we've got using this. Nothing majorly um, technical here, as I said at the start, things I've got lying around the house I've used. Um, we have got 
I will show you here now. We've got the bottle of whiskey that um, I used, that was empty, that I filled up with uh, cold tea, as you saw. Um, a whiskey glass, which any glass you could do, a tumbler would have been fine as well. The mirrored, not mirrored, the acrylic um, uh, the tray, if you like, or it's, a, it's actually a picture frame, an acrylic block, but it's got a black bottom, so it's nice and shiny, and it gives a good reflection. Um, it's on my office chair um, with just a jumper put over the back and clipped at the back as you saw at the start as well. So I will show you now the photos that we, what I managed to get using um, using this setup. And they're not professional product photos by any stretch of the imagination, but what it could give you is if you're selling your own products online um, and you're wanting to put them on a website or something, it's just a little bit of proof that you can do this without loads of expensive photographic equipment. Yes, I've got the light that I showed you at the start and it is, it is giving us a nice light in here at the moment, but there's no reason why you can't do this right by a window. Clear a space by a window, pop it all by a window and take the photo using natural light from outside. And it's got pretty de half decent results. And if I was selling products, I'll be quite happy putting things like this online to showcase um, you know, if I was making my own and selling my own and it's not the sort of thing that a big brand like Johnny Walker are going to use, but it's something that a one man band or a small eBay shop or something like that could use just to give those products a little bit more, um, a little bit more punch when you, when you sell them online. But there were a few things I would like to change and I'm going to go through those now. The things I weren't happy, wasn't happy with when I got the, um, photos into the computer. Okay, so I've got a bit of paper here as I jotted down the things I wasn't too happy with when I started. Um, I probably will have another go at this. I probably will take a little bit more time to do this and to get a better backdrop, better lighting, a proper whiskey bottle, not with cold tea, um, and a few other things I'm gonna go through quickly now. Um, so like I said, I'll use the proper product, not old tea in a whiskey bottle. Uh, I, I wouldn't crop as tight next time because it doesn't give you much room for um, playing around in post-production afterwards. Um, but I was limited with the size of the backdrop that I was using and I was limited with the size of the um, table, if you like, that we're using here. Anything further back, you'd start seeing the arms and everything in. So that's the first thing that I would change if I did it again. The second thing I would change, and this is probably really, really important as well, is I didn't clean everything properly. So you can see watermarks on the bottle, fingerprints on the bottle. Um, you can see smudges on the, the tray glass, the, 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 the tabletop here. Um, that should have been polished with an inch of its life to make it to make it cleaner and sparkly and really standing out against the black and the light behind it. Uh, small little details. When, um, with the picture here, there's a it's not quite level at the, with the backdrop, sorry, it's not quite level at the bottom. Um, so there was a, uh, a line here where you could see the, the jumper had just risen up and you could see a bit of the chair behind it. That doesn't look great. Um, so there's attention to detail um, would make a massive difference. And I probably would have looked for a smoother background because this being a fleece jumper, it's a little bit fluffy. Um, and I think a smooth, even something, you know, this is smooth, even something like that would have been, you probably can't see that, um, you can see my tummy definitely, but you probably can't see the t-shirt. Um, that would have been better because it would have been a smoother background and it does, when you see the photo, there is kind of like a, a fluffiness to where the lighting is and it doesn't look quite right, it doesn't quite fit in with the image of the whiskey. So, um, that is that is it really. And um, I hope that that was useful. Uh, again, it's another one of these new tutorials I'm doing. I've never done product photography before and I wanted to just have a go at it and share with you what I did. So um, there we go, done. I mean, that's another one out of the way. I hope that was useful for people. The 
best thing you could do for me if you've got this far which I thank you for is please hit that like button and leave me a comment if you need um, anything else you've got some suggestions previous videos other people have suggested stuff I'm always learning so I'm good it's good to hear that but hit that like button for me and if you're not already sub subscribed it would be great if you could subscribe subscribe that's a really hard word to say it'd be great if you could subscribe um, and you can catch all the, the other videos and little tutorials and, and come on this learning journey with me. So until then, thank you very much. It was great to have you here today and I will see you in the next video. Bye, bye, bye.